Hi everyone, I'm George and welcome back to the Anime Grove and today it's time for Ruby Volume 5 Chapters 7 and 8 Reaction. Now, um, last week I wasn't able to record so I wasn't able to upload it early, I'm really sorry. The members of our team are all so close now and it's such a matter of, it's only a matter of time until they're all reunited so I'm really glad to see that. It's been like, it was for like over two years I think for those of you that were watching uh, when it came out, so it must have been really hard. I seeing Yang actually fight for the people that are close to her and uh, talk that way to her mother, like made me really proud of her. And I know that people aren't that fond maybe of that scene because it might be redundant on the information that we get, but I feel like it's really good in order to establish relationship, character relationships, you know? This isn't a market substitute, so grab your legal copy and watch it along with me. This is Rooster Thief, and it's so hot in here, I can't stop sweating. Did you know that only like 25% of you are actually subscribed to the channel? Did you know we're actually about to hit the 250 subscribers? All of you subscribed at once, we'd be right there at the 1000 subscriber mark for the monetization for the channel. So, what are you waiting for? And plus, the more people are here, the more traction the channel will, will gain and the faster will grow. So you know it, leave a like, comment and subscribe and let's get into the video! Um, there's a Ruby character hidden somewhere along the video, so if you find them, write it down in the comment section below to activate the algorithm and help it promote this video on the channel. I've missed this art style so much this past week. Like, I've grown accustom accustomed to watching it every time I can. Every time I record, I try to snag a bit of Ruby in there. Also, I was told that maybe this isn't a um, spoiler for me because I haven't been told either if this is the case or not, just a different possibility that I ha might not have explored. That maybe it's not that Oscar will disappear in the background and Ospin will be the one left, but maybe it's the other way around and Ospin will eventually fade into nothing into in the background for... Oscar? I have no idea, but that's such an interesting possibility, so now I don't really know what might happen. I miss Mercury, like, it's been so long since we last saw him do something. Well, all of Team Cinder, because, let's be honest, they're some of the coolest characters on the show. So, I miss them. Even though we get some glimpses of... Holy crap, that looks amazing. I'm so hungry now. How do you lose your map at a time like that? Believe me, I've asked myself the same thing ever since. Hey, but what moments are they talking about? Is it something from last volume? I couldn't have done it without Ruby wearing it down. Oh, are they talking about the death stinger, I think? No, not the Stinger, I think it was I may have lost my temper another big no, no, and out of control is an awesome. oh. Grim. Yeah, I don't think we ever saw Ren out of control in his emotions. Like, even if it happened, I wouldn't yeah. be able to notice. In the middle of the party. Please tell me you let that lady have it. Of course not. Even if I did really want to. No way. I don't believe They're all it. sharing their stories. I love it. <laughs> Do you believe it now? <laughs> Oof. It's not a replacement for the real thing. But I'll make sure to make good use of it. Looks pretty sweet though. I like it. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> it's like Luffy from One Piece every time he sees a robot or something like that. <laughs> Wanna square now? Please, now's not the time. I was so sure Yang was down to you can do this. fight. Okay, I go with Nora because Yang's new arm is increasing, but increasing, incredible and amazing. But Nora is crazy strong and uh, like she eats so much. She has to have such a such strength, such strength. 
Okay, this is what I wanted to go back and watch. You're a girl on a skirt. I'll give you that. Yep. But it does have some new features. Are you going to cheat? Features are cheating. <laughs> okay. That's cheating, but I don't think Yang cares. <laughs> Look at her face. She considers that a win. <laughs> I would most definitely do that kind of jokes if I were uh, to lose an arm too. Easy there, vomit boy. I believe in you. Oh, that was so uncalled now. for. Wonderful. <laughs> I mean, the ice queen seems to like it. Ooh. I so did not miss you people. Got you for oh gay. Gosh, she really does like it. <laughs> what went and warmed your heart while you were gone? Hey, you make it sound like them. it used to be terrible. <laughs> nah, just a lot to deal with at once. Hmm. Hmm. It's been a long time. We've all grown in our own ways. Yeah. You really think so? But I miss well, the people that think back have left all us. Of Would you say you ever did anything foolish or embarrassing? And Blake or is so far funny? away. Oh gosh. <laughs> I may have been a little too gung ho for you time to time. <laughs> you? When you tried to one stop and the second day of school. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Don't even get me started. Well, that like, embarrassment, that desire to go back and tell yourself not to be so stupid. Are they going to not the start reminiscing? Or smarter. Or they the previous um, cringy moments and start cringing. Yet. None of us are. I like uh, Ren's attitude towards yeah, that. Like, Ren gets real deep when he feels like talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. So I wait a second. I feel like it's uh, something to talk about. Like, yeah, if you feel like something you did, you're not proud of, and you feel that kind of guilt, it's fine because you can use it to learn and to change and evolve from that. But you what must. What you mustn't do is to feel shame for it, because if you shame yourself, you're not learning from it, you're just punishing yourself. So, that's not productive, that's just self-harm, and not something that's that should be done, I think. Even at the dance, Sorry for stopping, but I felt like it was yeah, necessary. Thank you, Yang! <laughs> <laughs> How can six kids possibly make so much noise eating dinner? <laughs> Why is he so mad? They're teenagers. Maybe they can have Oscar join them so he feels less awkward. Because it feels pretty awkward now that he's here. So, the Maidens, Magic, Salem, it's all true? Nah, just kidding. Mrs. Zhao Long. Is this more or less what your mother told you? For the most part. You forgot something. You forgot to tell everyone what you did to Crow and my mother. Mm. What is she talking about? Okay, oh, so time for the truth. Mm. That's not a secret I thought she would give up so easily. <laughs> your mother must trust you a great deal. Do you think it was trust or to reincarnate, the curse. attempt to talk shit about others? A few key benefits. Much like the maidens, I too possess a certain magical power. Using this power, I was able to gift the Bronwyn twins the ability to see more. To move freely and be unburdened by their natural bodies. What they mean is turning them into animals, well, right? Well, gave them the ability to turn into birds. <laughs> He's Rather chuckling about it, but loud, isn't it? she seems pretty pissed about it. Uncle, you turn them into birds. Yes. All right, now you're just messing with us. <laughs> what else is new? He's telling the truth. We saw it. Yang's mom changed right in front of us. Mm. 
Why would you do something like that? I mean, what is wrong with you? Yang, that's enough. I mean, we made a choice. We wanted this. I don't really get what's wrong about yeah. it. Maybe they had to suffer a lot in order to gain that power, but... Or Renting maybe it's a curse and so trivial task. they have to transform you, sometimes. I don't know. What is the issue? I'd like to be able to Salem's transform plans. into a crow or a as raven. Well as for when their hosts okay, so have you done this with others? Like General Ironwood or Professor Goodwitch? As helpful as that might be, unfortunately, it is not that simple. My power is finite, and if I'm being honest, dwindling. Okay. The amount that I gifted to Crow and Raven was, all things considered, rather minuscule. You see, centuries ago, I sacrificed a great deal of magic to four young women, who I hoped would use my Oh, gift he's good. the old man from the story. Were the first from the maiden story. Oh, shit. Oh crap! Ms. He's Zhao that Long important? Was never my intention to lie to you. Holy shit! To any of I had no idea he went just some that matters, back. I prefer to play close to the chest. I believe that's how you phrased it. <laughs> yeah. Everyone has a choice. The Bronwyns chose to accept their powers and the responsibilities that came with them. And later, one of them chose to abandon her duties. Favor of her own self-interest. Now, all of you have a choice. If anyone wishes to leave, now is the time. Do they really have the choice? No because you're talking shit abstaining. about the person. Only in retreat. Okay, so he talks shit about Raven because she was in and then she was out, not because she was not very well then in from the beginning. Yang. Young out. If Ruby sticks around, then I will too. If there's one thing I know about her, it's that she somehow always knows the right thing to do. But that's kind of a feeble resolution, but because what but if Ruby is not if we're going to help, there anymore? If we're going to keep risking our lives, what keeps you from no more lives. turning into another no Raven? More half -truths. Again, I'm sure that I'm missing something that makes being able to turn into animals terrible. Terrible, terrifying and terrible, but yeah, I'm missing it right now. Oh, this so, this chapter is so sh so short. I mean, what can we? I do? had no idea it was going to be this short. Mm, that is a difficult question, one that I believe is best answered tomorrow. <laughs> what do you mean? Why though? The road ahead is undoubtedly filled with hardships and perils. Who's coming? However. It's been far too long since you have all been together. Please, take tonight. Enjoy this moment. Okay, so... Ladies, we have to save the world. We have to get ready. <laughs> but right now... Party! And let's make this socially right. awkward boy... Come back while touching a girl. Like... That's not going to make him feel awkward <laughs> at all. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Did she just Dude. notice the fun? Oh, Mercury! I was talking about him this chapter. Nice. Is Raven Bronwyn home? <sighs> you know, I've had a real bad week. So I think I'm gonna take it out on you. This guy keeps... Like, messing up and uh, trying to take on the wrong people <laughs> over Doesn't and like over and over boss. again. <laughs> then make him. What I wonder is, why was, was he so Sid. appalled by seeing Cinder and Watts? Like, does he know them? Well, that's a wrap for these guys. I have no doubt that Emerald can solo them all, like, so quickly. I mean, the um, these grants, I, I'm, these grants, I'm not talking about Raven, who I'm guessing is way more powerful, but who knows? I like it because they're uh, showing here the ingredients they were using and 
it was Japanese food. I was looking at it before, it was ramen, and you could see, I thought the bean sprouts were actually um, shrooms, mushrooms, but hey, it's also it also makes sense it's bean sprouts. But I thought it was those really like long and thin shrooms you can see sometimes in ramen. <laughs> you can see even the top, uh, you can see it even top down and uh, from and another. A size reference for the bowl. Okay, I'm trusting you here, Rooster Teeth. Don't screw me. Go straight into chapter 8. Please. Is this chapter 8? Chapter 8, go, 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 I said go. Let's go. No, is the quality fucked up again? Is it going to get better from here to the ending of the opening? If it doesn't get better, I'll have to reload. Let's hope it does improve. I'd rather not have to make another edit here. Let's go, it did improve. Save. Um... So, like, three or four years ago, I stopped, but I used to play Hearthstone, like, the card game, the Blizzard card game, I used to play it like a maniac, so much, and, okay, and, um, I used to be hooked up, so, I dropped it completely, and a friend of mine got me over into it again, so, So, I'll be playing it a lot, uh, soon enough. Do you guys like Hearthstone? I think if I ever streamed a video game, I would probably stream Hearthstone or maybe Pokemon Showdown, but I don't really know what you would be interested in watching. Or if you would be interested at all, maybe um, anime watching streams? I don't really know, I never streamed before, but let me know if you're interested, so I can look into it and see if it's easy to do, easy to set up. You're up early. <laughs> it was so smooth. Like, that was... I liked it. <laughs> She's thickening her with, the, with her hair. I liked the transition because I was so focused on the pigeon that I didn't realize it transitioned into... Yang. Tama again, I'm sorry. I missed this last. Can't fall back. Can't fall back asleep. I missed that. Yeah, and monster energy drink. Don't drink caffeine? Please. That's bad for you, boys. Don't worry, I put in blasphemous amounts of cream and sugar just for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, blasphemous amounts. I will pour this on you <laughs> and it will burn. <laughs> and you will not like this, Ruby. <laughs> Don't get it wrong. <laughs> can't believe we're actually a mistral. That's what you can't believe? Well, mistral yeah. is actually and my favorite continent, stuff, I think, because... Like, okay, I really enjoy you know snow I mean. and ice powers, I honestly wasn't sure and uh, I think Atlas it. would be a really nice spot for me, but all this nature and Asian theme is also <laughs> really big on me, so Again. I think Mistral would be well, my favorite to place to live in Remnant. Wasn't it, like, really Can hot? Didn't Ruby just down it all at once? Yeah, well, she made her choice. Don't be like that. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. I mean, she could have been here if she just stuck around. Just like you? No big deal, though. You'll Couldn't you? What if she arrives now? Don't you want her here? Are Whatever. you mad at her? Yeah. Are you still mad at her for leaving? Oh, whatever gave you that idea, Ruby? <laughs> no, I'm totally fine. I'm great. Okay, calm down. Don't tell me to calm she down. She killed the mood a bit. Even Whoa, the OST. Dang. And her eyes, like... She's changing. Whatever. 
ever so sadly 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 you know the word i mean ever so slightly is not the word but you know what i mean be right there she's changing and she feels so hurt by Blake leaving but didn't she do literally the same I don't understand but I guess she's confused B things not going to things going too far not sure what to do find a quiet spot I'll find you come along please I so Ilya to Blake that's a hundred and twenty percent a trap sis like or what? We've got the entire nocturnal section to hit up. Is she going to dismiss him so she can go to the rendezvous? You okay? And uh, get ambushed like she's yeah, so clearly going to get ambushed. I need to take care of something first. Why would you believe Ilya? I get she was your friend and I get you want to desperately cling in cling to the idea that maybe she's not evil well evil that she's not gone too far but didn't she prove yeah. she had gone too far last time in the public meeting while Gira was Look Ruby, I really don't want to talk about it, okay? If you just leave me alone for a bit reading the speech. Oh, Hey, Weiss, did you need something? So what if Ruby needed something? I guess she's trying to be nice to Weiss, but what if it were Ruby then? I know then? she's our teammate, but I'm not just going to change my mind. I'm sorry, I just, I don't think you know what it's like to be left. You have a giant family, recitals to perform at, Dinners to attend. I don't think it counts as her I having a family. And I don't think my mom Weiss wants any of that, me. so it's Ruby's for me it's as if too. she had nothing. Ty was always busy with school and Ruby couldn't even talk yet. I had to pick up the pieces. I had to keep things together. Alone. Weiss, if you have something to say, then say it. When I was 10, my dad finally admitted to my mom that the only reason he married her was for the family name. It was actually on my birthday. He missed the big dinner. Way to mad, fuck it up. He finally snapped. I think she already knew. Looking back, I think I knew too. But hearing him say it finally pushed her over the edge. Is that when she started drinking or the first it was separate lunches and dinners opposite balconies at my recitals a glass of wine here a glass of wine there then it was no dinners no recitals a bottle of wine here and well you get the idea i'm really sorry i shouldn't have assumed you're right though I don't know loneliness like you do. I have my own version. And yeah, everyone's lived their own personal hell. I don't think have to be alone though. I was here for her. We all were. She on your terms, not her terms. You know what Why I mean? Why do you think she did that? Hmm? The entire time Blake was at Beacon, she was afraid to open up to people. She tried to keep her past separated from us. She tried to protect us. Eventually, those walls she put up came down. And she ended up and hurting you, don't did, you see? She's trying to she protect you. Actually happened. The universe proved her right. No one blamed her for anything. If she had just talked to us, she would have known that. She blames How herself. For her, she doesn't let me. Young, you need to understand. Blake is a person of her own, and she can do things for herself. I know she. You can feel helpless when people also do things that you like. In this case, she feels bad and she doesn't want Blake to feel bad because she's not blaming her. But Blake is a person of her own and Blake can feel bad for being the cause of Yang's her damage problems. You know what I mean? Even though Yang doesn't blame her. So 
I think that's something that Yang has to get into head head. Looks I needed her here for me. But I get she's mad because no, she really misses it. She's I not being fair and she knows it. The only thing we can do now is be there for her when she's ready. When she comes back. If she comes back. She she's will. so hurt. Like, they I mean, have to bring her back. Ruby and even Blake. They can't Although leave me without me the team whole once again. Father. I would do anything for you three. And I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. So, when she's ready, I'll be there for her. And I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. So sweet. Lisa, everything okay? <laughs> You're a bit late, but I think yes, it actually helped it the is. case because I feel like always wise was able to navigate the situation with the needed position. Aight, ambush time. So, Ilya? where is it coming from? Thank God you use your head and pull your weapon out. Okay, so she went black. That Ilya. was really cool. I know you're scared, but you don't have to be. My family and I, we can that keep you safe. That was not scared color. I'm sorry. Headshot? No, I don't think that. Make it up but to me by us stop Fennec. No. She's sorry for what's I'm about sorry. to happen. Okay. <gasps> Shit. Is he? Okay, so he stepped on her lungs, I think. So she's completely out of breath. What is Electro doing here? Like, what animal is that? Is that an electric eel? I have no idea, but given, like, looks like lightning, so. What even is it? So it's a bat? Wait. Okay, a spider? I've got it. Well done, Sister Trifa. Trifa. And to you, Ilya. So, this guy was called Ilya. Yuma? What or was Yuma doing? someone else? I tried to warn you, Blake. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're sorry. But I am. I am sorry it has to be this way. But you and your family are holding the Faunus back. Because we're trying to protect people? In what world do you live in where attacking the innocent is the right thing to do? Yeah. The what kind of delusions you? are There's no such in your head? Innocent. There's no right thing to do. Only what's best for us there's the humans that still hate the faunus and there's the others who stand by and let the hate happen but you know what snuffs out hate fear nah I i'd like say fear makes effect. people more uh, hateful you this. it's gotten us results yeah look where it's gotten you We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good, no matter how much it hurts. And you think killing me the is greater really good. for the greater good? No. But getting rid of your family is. Oh shit! You is she going to blow up the? You can't! I won't let you. House? I know. No way. That's why you're Did being she... sent to Mistral. To Adam. Did she get her out? In order to... You don't have to do this. This isn't you. No, yes, no, no. it is. Ilya, yes, you, then, you were just still busy could be redeemed. I was always jealous of the way you looked at him. I wanted you to look at me that way. She felt so jealous. But we can't always get what we want. Yeah, and that's why... Yuma... 
I know it, that's not the you reason Ilya's going like this. I know it's way more complicated like than that and Let's go, traitor. Everything. But come on. <laughs> I know if it's not your reason for doing it, don't drop it like that now, making it look like you're excusing yourself. No! You have perfectly <laughs> valid reasons, I'd say. What? Nice, so she did not fall, okay, I'm so glad, Blake, big brain, 5,000 5, IQ. In any case, I was going to say real quick that, um, well, uh, at least Ilya has a reason for doing things, and I respect villains that actually believe in what they're doing, that would sacrifice themselves in order to carry out their plan. I feel like that's a really nice trait for a villain to have, at least for me to like them. So, pretty sweet. Nice. Thanks for the backup. Thanks for the invitation. <laughs> you okay? No. You heard Ilya. My family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. I really what? hope I was wrong about the bomb, but. Come on, mom, pick up. Machine gun blasting. Shit. Okay, so at least it wasn't a slaughter. Maybe they're still alive? Come on, man, you got hit on the shoulder. On your armor. Get up and fight. Damn, he's strong. Is a uh, Gira. Hey, I think I haven't been told, or maybe an a bear. I don't really know right now. He's hairy as fuck. Nice. No, no, nice. Not nice. Wasn't he part of our team? Corsac and Fennec. This guy's always in the middle. Okay, there we go. Here's his straight. Okay, is he a lion? That sounded way more lion -y. Like, might be a lion or a panther. Lights in the alley are broken. Hmm. This was this was such a in such an interesting set of episodes, but it was so short. It felt like it was only one chapter. So. I'll probably record at least one more before leaving. Hmm. See Ilya's suit for ref. I really like these character designs. Like, just one trait is able to make each bonus so unique. Because given how they're also humanoid, you can give them, give them the human pr characterization you can uh, personalize them a lot make them really customized but also you have the extra ability to put an animal trait that might really complement their uh, overall design so i think it's a really good idea that they had and i don't know i hope more shows tend to add details like that maybe not create a whole entire race around it but in any case um i really hope nothing happens to blake's family like really um i was expecting a bomb after what Ilya said about her family so I'm, I'm glad at least that wasn't the case and there's a fight maybe even we can get to see how Corsang and fennec get defeated that was that would be so satisfying and so rewarding given how painful they have been during this entire volume also i'm glad to see how rooster teeth tackles certain angles that are not usually well traditionally taken well tackled in anime or uh, cartoons like for example um Ilya, i feel like she was in love with blake right I think that's what she was uh, implying when she said I was jealous you wouldn't look at me the same way you looked at Adam. 
So that's something you don't see often. And that's also like, I enjoy the fact that it's not a talking character. It's not, she's here for the sake of diversity and uh, that's all she is here for. She has su such complexity and her main drive is not that of her wanting to be with Blake and being mad and everything revolving around that fact. But she has, she's a fleshed out character with really complex motivations that also has flavor that I really enjoy. Th that would also be the case. I feel like maybe I'm shooting completely. I'm missing completely um, the shooting. I don't know what the expression is, but I feel like Yang might also be mad because she might also be into Blake, but that hasn't been too clearly addressed yet. So I don't really know if I'm tripping and seeing things where they aren't or if there's actually something there. In any case, um, this was, as I said, a great set of episodes, chapters. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and for staying to the end of the video. And I hope to see you all on the next chapter. So, peace out.